Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to sketch the graph of a rational function with six easy steps. Y intercept, X intercept, intervals of decrease and decrease, concavity and inflection points, relative extrema, and asymptotes. Step 1. Y intercept. To find y intercept, we set x equal to 0. So y is equal to f0 equal to 0 minus 1 over 0 plus 2 equal to minus 1 over 2. So the point is 0 minus 1 over 2. Label it on the graph 0 minus 1 over 2 this point. Step 2. X intercept. To find X intercept, Fx is equal to 0. So, X minus 1 over X plus 2 equal to 0. X minus 1 over X plus 2 will become 0 if X minus 1 is equal to 0. So, x equal to 1. 1, 0. We label it on the graph. Step 3. Intervals of decrease and increase. First find the first derivative. f prime x equal. This is a rational function. So, we have to use quotient rule. 1 is u. 1 is v. So the formula is v u prime minus u v prime over v square. So this one is equal to v x plus 2 u prime differentiate x minus 1 we get 1 minus u x minus 1 and the derivative of x plus 2 is equal to 1. Divide everything by x plus 2 square. This is equal to x minus x 0, 2 minus minus 1 is 3. 3 over x plus 2 square. So the critical points happen when x plus 2 is equal to 0 because when s plus 2 is equal to 0 f prime does not exist so x is equal to minus 2 we draw the table minus 2 f prime f choose a number that is less than minus 2 for example minus 3 Substitute into f prime minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 square. You get a positive number 1. 3 over 1 is equal to a positive number. So in here, for less than minus 2, f prime is positive. So f is increasing. For greater than minus 2, choose a number any number for example 0 choose 0 substitute into x in f prime you get a positive number so it also increase when greater than minus 2 less than minus 2 increase greater than minus 2 also increasing step 4 concavity we rewrite f prime x. So this one will become 3 x plus 2 exponent minus 2. So the second derivative is equal to 2 times 3 is minus 6. This one x plus 2 minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. The line number. We have 2 here. Second derivative, f, 
a number less than minus 2, for example, minus 3, substitute into the second derivative, minus 3 plus 2 is minus power 3, still minus time minus, we get a positive number. So, f is concave up for x less than minus 2. For x greater than minus 2, choose a number, for example, 0, substitute into the second derivative, you get 0 plus 2, positive number, times a negative number, it becomes negative. So, this one is concave down. We have changes in sign, but when x is equal to minus 2, the function does not exist. So, x equal to minus 2 is not an inflection point. Step number 5, relative extrema. According to the first derivative test, if there is a change in the sign of f prime, then we will have a maximum or minimum. But in this case, we have both positive. So, no relative extrema exists. Step 6. Asymptotes. We have two asymptotes. One is vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote happen when the denominator is equal to 0. So, x plus 2 equal to 0. x equal to minus 2. Label it on the graph. So, this is x equal to minus 2. And then, horizontal asymptote. We find the limit as x approaches positive infinity of x minus 1 over x plus 2. The limit of x approaches positive infinity divided by the highest power from the denominator 1 minus 1 over x over 1 plus 2 over x equal to 1. So, y equal to 1 is a horizontal asymptote. We should also find for the limit as x approaches minus infinity. So, y equal to limit x approaches minus infinity x minus 1 over x plus 2. So, this one also equal to 1. It seems like we have, when approaching positive infinity, we have approaching 1. And when approaching minus infinity, x is approaching minus infinity, y also approaching 1. Now, we, what we want to do is to sketch the graph. We have this two point for greater than minus 2, it is increasing. So the function is increasing here. And it is approaching 1. y equal to 1. Now for x less than minus 2, it is increasing. So if you select this region, the graph will increase and try to cross this asymptote and it is impossible. So, we should start here. And if you examine this one, as x approaches minus infinity, it is approaching 1. So, it means that like this. Concave up and increasing. So, we have
Thank you.